It's time for Big Ticker's trending topics. Find out what's trending now with Big Ticker. Oh, he did not tell me for that. On V103. All right, people, time for the fall loving on your favorite folks. We call it the trending topics. A lot of people now uh, on the same page these days in the celebrity world. India Ari beefing with Jimmy Fallon and Justin Timberlake, saying they disrespected her and she's offended. Justin and Jimmy did a thing called Song Versation. It was a skit on The Tonight Show. Fallon has done the skit before with Timberlake. Involves a few dry jokes along with songs. Apparently, India Ari caught wind of the skit found it highly offensive as two of her idols are titled Song Versation. She accused of being not respecting her work. Tweeting out, respect my life's work at Jimmy Fallon. I know it's not personal to you, Jimmy Fallon, but it is personal to me. Now that you know, please do not do that. Hashtag songversation. She said, nope, scrolling through these hashtags and it's making me nauseous. Songversation was not created as a place for Jimmy Fallon to make jokes. So imagine two people having a conversation with music, like, like singing in it. That's Jimmy Fallon's take on songversation. India Ari's thing was a little bit more deep, a little bit more spiritual, and she kind of came up with it, so I can understand her having some issue with it. I don't know who owns it necessarily, per se, but she feels some kind of way about it. One of my favorite tweets said, Jimmy Fallon and Justin Timberlake played a game called Songversation, and I'm not here for it. Name your game something else. This is sacred. Wow. Story developing. Uh, so this Monique, the Mo- give me a piece of Monique thing. I'm not. It's too loud to explain the Monique. Let's just get, just give me a clip of the Monique thing. Hey, my loves. I know y'all are saying, what is Monique talking about now? Nothing but the truth. And when we had to stand and let you know what was going on with Netflix, a lot of people had a lot of opinions, and we're okay with that. However, we're not okay with people lying. Now there's a reporter named John Mary who read an email that he received from a producer by the name of William Packer that he sent to my husband, Sydney, who's also my manager. However, what they did not do is send the rest of the emails. So we want to post the thread of the emails so you get a chance to see the behind the scenes of how a producer tried to intimidate, bully, and ruin someone's character. Wow. He said Will Packer tried to do those things to her. Then there was a subsequent four, five, six, seven, eight posts of long email trails of back and forth between Will Packer and Sydney. Fast forward to, I guess it was today or yesterday. Gary Owen is not here for that. Slandering of Will Pack, and here's what Gary Owen had to say. Man, Monique don't stop. She blames everybody. It's Oprah, it's Tyler, it's Lee Daniels, it's Netflix. Now it's Will Packer. She went too far when she started blaming Will Packer on That's my friend. That's my homeboy. Will Packer's done more for black actors and actresses than just about anybody in the last 10 years. Mm. I mean, he is basically showing Hollywood that black movies have a mainstream market. Mm. I mean, Takers, Think Like a Man, Ride Along, Stomp the Yard, Girl Strip. I mean, the dude is basically changing the game, and now you're going to say he's against you. When, honestly, he put you in a movie almost Christmas when nobody was putting you in movies, and he stuck his neck out and he went to bat for you. And then you throw him in under the bus. I'm not going to sit back and let you slander my friend's name like wow. that. Will Packer is a good, good person. That's a good brother, man. He helped change my life. And I ain't going to sit back and let you slander his name, Monique. Sometimes you got to take accountability for yourself. It's you. It's you. What can you do to change things? Stop mm. blaming everybody else for your shit, man. Come on, Monique. It's getting old. <laughs> wow. Honorary black member of our black family, Gary Owens, speaking of Monique. Now, here's what I'm saying. I'm going to stay way out of this one. Monique is a friend. Thank God Gary's a friend. Because if anybody talk crazy about me, I know what's about to happen on Gary's side. I wasn't there. I can't speak on it intelligently. Who's on the right side of the road? Oh, and by the way, Will Pack is a friend, too. All I wish that this didn't have to play out so publicly. Let's start there. The Netflix thing was one thing with Monique, but we're already in a situation where African Americans don't get the same kind of opportunities or revenue, which you're fighting for, but you seek to demean a brother who is absolutely reversing that trend in in Hollywood. You just basically put, I, I don't, I don't know, people. Monique, love to see you stop by. Somebody involved in the story is scheduled to stop by tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you who, but you need to be here tomorrow. We're going to get some clarity. B103.
Big Tick, Big Things. You missed any part? V-103.com. More Big Ticket Show. Now.